Hello, we have the Nike Invincible Run 2 in the black and summit white. This is a shoe I bought to replace my commuting to work, um, running after work, as well as my gym work. It's out again in a size nine and a half. This one I've been wearing for about two months, so excuse all the wear and tear. And it does get a little bit dirty, so fine with the white walls, white um, outsoles here which they say is the waffle like so. So first impressions of these, they are super, super plushy. Like this new Zoom, Zoom X they have is way softer and bouncier than the older Air Zoom that it replaced. And I don't know if I like it, I'll be honest with you. I like how it's really comfortable on the foot, but first couple of wears, I actually made my foot ache a little bit. And I think what happened was um, it was using different muscles because my foot was used to a certain amount of, I guess, uh, support. And after these, you know, I'm using totally different muscles, which is actually kind of good if you're into that um, that kind of training where you want to work out different muscles with different types of um, conditions. The upper, upper is a fly knit. And, I said, uh, and the sole, excuse, it's a little dirty. I've been wearing these for about two months now. Um, they don't provide the they're probably good, good traction, but during the rain and whatnot, I do find them a little bit slippery. But that makes sense because they're more for you know, not for uh, wet water, wet weather use. The shoelaces are nothing to write home about. They are they're normal Nike laces. They're quality, but you might want to replace them with something a little bit different if you like different colors. I got this in this color mainly because as I wear this to work, it's more neutral for my commute. But they do come in a variety of different colors. I got this, they were MSRP for $180. I got mine for about $116 before tax. So I think it's a good deal. All things considered for their most up-to-date technology in the, in the Zoom X for the running. I like the Nike here. They have a little baby Nike. So it's like dad Nike and kid Nike. So great for us. Not much reflective at night. As you can see, not really anything reflected by night, but it's a it's a premium shoe, but it's a no nonsense shoe. It's not one that doesn't have too many flashy stuff. It's just a really comfortable, really high quality, really advanced technology. I think the vapor vapor are the ones that you use for marathons, but these are more for everyday use for training because they're a little bit heavier. They're a little bit heavier. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Again, I've. I like them. I feel they're comfortable after wearing them for a while. They do, after I broke them in, I did like them a little bit better. My feet don't ache, my legs don't ache. These are another um, few of them from the side and the insoles. Okay, and that should be good. That is all. Feel free to give a try at your at your Nike store to make sure your the, the foam is comfortable for you, comfortable for your runs. It's great on the heels for your heel strikers, your mid strikers, as most the extreme force for front four foot strikers are gonna be a little bit less cushioning, but that's normal. Okay, see you guys in the next one.